Hey, Clint Butler here from SIA. Today we're going to do another test video. This is test 34. What are the strongest infographic sites? This is from our link building phase back in 2016. Let's get into it. All right, so one of the ways that we were talking back then about link building is uh, is through the creation of infographics. It's actually it's a method that still works uh, pretty well today, especially if you're doing a lot of data visualization stuff, you know, turning work numbers into pretty little charts and stuff. People like that. People enjoy it, like to consume content that way just because it's more of a clear and concise thing versus having to read an entire article. Um, so I still recommend that you, you try this out and you do it, but I don't know about necessarily using the infographic sites anymore. It's just kind of, they're built out and, and burned out and everyone's put their junk in there and just people stop using them as a resource. Uh, but you certainly can do that, uh, promote them on uh, sites like Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, that kind of stuff and, uh, get a lot of bang for your buck. As a matter of fact, Pinterest is probably the number one place where I recommend sharing your, uh, your data and your graphs and your infographics and stuff. But with that said, with that said, this test is one of those that you would actually kind of consider a dud. You know, you, I mean, the, the page ranked, but uh, at the end of the day, the only only one out of the twenty infographic sites that were selected for the test uh, indexed, and that's not really a uh, a good uh, return on investment back then. Uh, today we know that if we just get it crawled and that link counts and then it'll crawl and that'll be fine. Um, but it's certainly better if the site's indexed, they have an audience there and there's people actually looking for those bet, those um, type of infographics and will use yours, thus naturally creating backlinks. So it's also the second benefit of the infographic type sites though is you can, some of those sites actually offer embed codes and it'll embed to the infographic site and it'll Im Im embed and, uh, and that link will, those links will boost up the link that you have on the infographic site. So there's some things that you could do there. Uh, but all in all, I think this was kind of a, it's kind of a busted test. And, and, and frankly, uh, as I was looking through all the results while we're making these videos, I didn't see that this one was ever looked at again. Uh, so maybe we'll retest it and just see if we can find some better sites that actually you can share your infographics on to promote your content. And then those shares result in traffic beyond just the backlink stuff. So because we want to double dip, we want traffic and backlinks so that we can get promotion uh, for our content versus just waiting for Google to rank the sites or the pages better <clears throat> and getting traffic that way. We can get the traffic from the links that we're building uh, and the promotion that we're doing, and that promotion results in more backlinks uh, in a natural way to uh, keep us out of trouble. So that's how I would implement the the results of this uh, this, this attempt at a test. <laughs> Let's call it that. All right, so that's test 34. If you guys appreciate that, hit the thumbs up and subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.